Okay, now I would like to call our next speaker who is very passionate and hardworking. And he works as a system engineer at 10 UP. He spent his last 10 years uh, working as a system administrator and support engineer for various web hosting organizations. Uh, so I would like to call Mr. Shakir Ali, who is uh, going to discuss uh, WordPress security best practices. So please welcome Mr. Shakir Ali. Well, I'm Shakir Ali, system engineer at Tenup. And from last 10 years, I have been working as a system engineer for different web hosting organizations. And uh, my topic of presentation is WordPress security best practices. I chose the word best practices because due to a story like uh, I want to share with you, I have, my, I have lo a lot of experience on the system side, but my own WordPress website was hacked in the recent past just because I did not implement it, the knowledge I have on my WordPress website. So if you have a lot of knowledge on how to secure your web WordPress website, does not guarantee that your WordPress website will remain secure unless you implement that knowledge on your website, which is called practices. And I will be giving you guidelines and proper tools so that, so that you can Practice those guidelines on your website. So first question is why WordPress security is so important? It is because WordPress is most popular web publishing platform, having 58% of the market share on publishing platform. So its websites are constantly under attack. And as an owner, you know the importance of your website and how much a hack website costs to your business. Uh, can I ask one question like, um, how many of you have faced a hack website or compromised website? So there are, there are a lot of. It means there, there might be a lot of hackers too. And, and hackers can steal sensitive information from your visit from your website visitor computers and users and uh, to make sure that your website is secure uh, i will like to proceed further if there is any hacker present i will be sorry for him otherwise my first question my second question will be what you need to hack a wordpress website There will be a lot of things, like uh, a hacker can answer best to, those, to that question. However, I want to show some statistics that how a WordPress websites are usually getting hacked. Due to hosting, 41%. Due to uh, themes, 29%. Due to plugins, 21%. And due to weak usernames and password, 8%. So I will start from bottom to the top. First of all, password security. Everyone knows that you need to have a strong password, but I will like you to enforce that strong password on your website. Like if you have several users on your website, you can't ask everyone to please make the password strong, please make the password strong. Instead, force that, that policy. And you can use four strong password plugin to make sure that your every user on your website is having strong password. And the second thing, whenever you want to share password with someone on the internet, use onetimesecret.com to share sensitive information, including passwords and any other sensitive information. Don't share password in chat and emails because those are unsecure resources. And also, if you need to uh, st store password, don't store password in plain text files. Instead, there is a free tool available like LastPass or OnePassword. Use that. And I'm telling you these tools because it will, it will not only make sure that your passwords are secure, but also it will save time for you. It, will, it is not a time-consuming tool. Like LastPass is having plugin in the browser so that it automatically fills in your username and password whenever you visit a, uh, your WordPress website admin section. 
And then one more thing, keep changing your password and also again you can enforce this policy using expired password plugin. Second thing is username. As you know that whenever you install a WordPress website, the default username is admin. So make sure change that admin username to something else. And then my se second suggestion will be to use email address instead of username as email addresses are more difficult to judge as compared to the names. Sorry. I think there is internet problem. No, no it's not a video, it's just presentation. Oh, okay, got it. And then enable two-factor authentication. There are several plugins available on WordPress.org that you can use for two-factor authentication. And also there is a limit login plugin. You can install that so that it will help you to avoid brute force attack on the login. And then I will move to the next section that how to deal with theme and plugin vulnerabilities. Everyone of now, like uh, if you have development experience or anything on the system side, you know that the, everyone recommends that whenever you install plugin or theme on your web, website, make sure that those are from reliable resources. But I will go further. And also, uh, like keep your WordPress plugins and themes updated. There's, there is also a uh, plugin available like vulnerability scanner. Like if you have 100 of website or 50 website or 10 website, it is difficult for you to check on, to go on your website and make sure that all the plugins and theme and core is updated to the latest version. So there is a very easy tool, like you can install vulnerability scanner plugin, and then you can install uh, you can execute a WPCLI command, which you have learned in the first session of Orlik, to make sure that you uh, know there is no plugin vulnerable or any plugin containing compromised contents, like WPCLI warrant status. And also, if you set up a cron job, it can send you an email with all the compromised plugin theme and even if there is something compromised in the core. And then there is a WPCLI command again to verify that your core is not being modified. It happens that sometime a developer is modifying the core files. If you execute WPCLI core verify checksum, it will make sure that all your core files are intact and those are not being getting changed. And then as you know, the 41% of the websites were hacked due to hosting purpose. So my next topic that I will be going on the hosting side. So it's uh, between mixed thing like uh, hosting and uh, other security that you can perform. What you need to hide in a WordPress website? Answer is simple, hide WordPress. Like you can hide that this is a WordPress website, that hackers mostly attack on WordPress website. So if you hack that this is a WordPress website, then hacker will have low chances of hacking your WordPress website. You can simply hide WP admin, WP login.php. Uh, you can do it from plugins, but also you can do it without plugin. Due to time sensitivity, I'm not going further into detail. There is a URL I have mentioned. You can use that. And there is detailed guidelines available that how to hack, uh, how to hide WordPress WP admin section. And also one thing like you need to change database table prefix which is present in wp-config file. Uh, the second thing like uh, most important file in WordPress is wp-config file. Make sure that your wp-config file is well secure. You can change its permission to 444 and also, if you, ha you can perform these actions if you have root access or SSH access to your server. And also one more suggestion that move your wp-config out of the WordPress folder. Even your WordPress website will still be able to find the wp-config file which is present one up in hierarchy.
uh, there was a recent vulnerability on WordPress website, and uh, I want to play a video, please. I want to show you how a vulner last vulnerability that was happened on WordPress website and how a secure, in, a secure web hosting can deal with even WordPress core related issues. Uh, there is a normal user who have author access. It is not having admin access. What he's trying to do, he is uploading an image. And then he goes into the console, console and uses WP config, uh, thumb to config function and set the value of the image that was uploaded. and then he deletes the image. What happens, it actually deletes WP config file because it set its value to config file. So it's back to the database website installation page. So please back to the presentation, please. So this is uh, to tell you that how a secure environment, secure hosting environment can deal with WordPress security related issues and how we deal with on our hosting site. On Tana Hosting, we have a separate user for uploads directory and a separate user for, for, for correlated files who deployed files to the WP content and other files to the WordPress website. So if someone tries to delete this file on our environment, it would have given permission denied error because like we have nginx.nginx user on uploads directory, so nginx user don't have access to delete some a user file that is owned by something else user. So we have resolved this on our hosting with. What are the other restrictions that we need to implement on our WordPress site? Make sure that all the URLs you are having, like all the WordPress installation are secure. Use HTTPS. Uh, there are several SSL certificate provider which provide free SSL certificate. cPanel also provide free SSL certificate. Uh, Cloudflare, if you are using CDN, it also provide free SSL certificate. And also if you are system admin, you can use Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Enable two-factor authentication as I mentioned earlier. And also enable CDN, that is highly recommended. Enable CDN on your website. It does not only increase the performance on your, of your WordPress website, but also it adds an extra security layer between hacker and, all, and your WordPress website. And then restrict access to XML or PC.php. Uh, you can disable XML or PC.php on, uh, on your hosting site, like HTXS, disable access for I, all the IP addresses. However, if you are using Jetpack, you can enable access for only Jetpack provider IP address, or if, you are if your users are posting content using Microsoft Word, uh, then also you can use their static IP address to enable access. And I can provide you detail rules in Nginx, Apache, or HTXS file after in happy hours. And then the last thing is to disable WP admin load scripts.php. Uh, this is also like WP admin load scripts.php can catenate different files and it can cause DDoS attack on your WordPress website. And we have found that you can disable it safely and it does not cause any problem for your WordPress website. However, make sure that you are adding a constant in your WP config, like concatenate scripts. And also these are something that you need to perform on hosting side, like disable several function in PHP. Uh, this allow file edit so that from WP admin section, you are not going to edit any file, core file or themes file. And that's it. Uh, do you have any question? Yep, sure. Uh, 
It was in last version. Currently, they have implemented the fix already in WP Core. However, it was prior to uh, 4.7, this vulnerability was present. And it, it, video already itself explained, I'm not developer, I'm on the system side, but video itself explained that how he went into the console and uh, exec executed a function which deleted WP config file instead of image. He just changed the image value to config file and Hello. Yep. If I create AWS ka instance, then the default username of default user is Ubuntu. Hota hai. Uh, sorry, back your pardon? AWS ka jo instance, yep, sure. when I create kar raun, uska default user is Ubuntu. If I update plugins, ko update karna hai, to that is triple W dash data. This is the user group. If I upload FTP ke through files, ke through files upload kar raun, to I have to change the both user groups. Koi aisa way hai, एक यूजर ग्रुप हो और ये फाइल भी अपलोड हो सके और बैक से प्लगइन्स भी ऑटो अपडेट हो सके या वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड दिस ऑन आवर होस्टिंग साइट लाइक वी यूज गिट इंस्टेड ऑफ एफटीपी ओके लाइक वी हैव गिट लैब रनर यूजर बट वी हैव गिवन परमिशन टू गिट लैब रनर सो दैट इट कैन राइट इनटू द नेजिनेक्स ओन फोल्डर्स एंड फाइल्स and also, like it can execute files, like Nginx can execute files from Git from user on uh, from files owned by GitLab user. So I can provide you detail further, like how you can give permissions properly. Even you are using Ubuntu user or www data user, I can provide you guidelines how you can. Sorry. Uh, it sh it should be like uh, you have to like group permissions and. Uh, all username permissions are usually in etc password file. So from where you can perform. However, there is a also SSH command available, which you can add user to different groups and. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum um, There are two modes. A wordpress.com, you can host your site host and a wordpress.org, because uh, code will be your site. Pe which one is more secure as per uh, WordPress Cortex, they say that their .com ka code is probably a thousand times updated and also security ke fixes. But .org is our hosting. We have to do the effort to do the auto-updates on the auto-updates or the guidelines that you have given. In your opinion, what is the most secure mode? Do we move to WordPress.com with the domain mapping or use the WordPress.org? असल में ये डिपेंड करता है आपकी हर एक होस्टिंग के कुछ ड्रॉबैक ड्रॉबैक्स होते हैं और कुछ पॉजिटिव फीचर्स होते हैं जैसे आप आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट पे डिपेंड करता है जैसे आप सी पैनल होस्टिंग लेते हैं तो आपको अफोर्डेबल होस्टिंग मिल जाती है शेयर्ड होस्टिंग मिल जाती है लेकिन उसके ड्रॉबैक्स क्या हैं आपको लो परफॉर्म वेबसाइट मिलती हैं लो सिक्योर वेबसाइट मिलती हैं इसकी बिनस्पत अगर आप ए डब्ल्यू अपना वी सेटअप करें थोड़ा सा आपको सिस्टम साइट पर एक्सपीरियंस चाहिए होगा और इवन आप लर्निंग भी कर सकते हैं तो मेरे ख्याल से जो मैं बेस्ट रिकमेंड करता हूं सबको कि आप अपना एक ए पे इंस्टेंस क्रिएट करें और ए इतना अफोर्डेबल है कि आपको कहता है कि पे एज यू ग्रो कि आप जितना आपकी रिसोर्स यूज़ करेंगे आपको उतना ही पे करना पड़ेगा तो उस पर आप जितने भी सिक्योरिटी फीचर्स हैं आप खुद इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं और इतने नहीं डिफिकल्ट नहीं आप ये सारे फीचर्स आप लर्न कर सकते हैं वैसे अगर आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट पर है कि आपकी क्या रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं आप wordpress.org पर भी काफ़ी लोग हैं जो यूज़ कर रहे हैं wordpress.org को उस पर होस्ट कर रहे हैं वो खुद उस चीज़ को मैनेज कर रहे होते हैं वो सिक्योरिटी रिलेटेड इशूज़ को टैकल कर रहे होते हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर शाकिर अली